Today, we learned some new information about the search for the missing mother, Lynn Jackenheimer. She has not been seen since going to North Carolina on vacation with her children and ex-boyfriend. As the search continues for Lynn Jackenheimer, the reward to find her indeed has increased again. News Channel 5's Tracy Carlos spent the day in Ashland County and has new details. That reward has now grown to $8,000 as family and friends hope and pray for information about Lynn Jackenheimer. Purple ribbons dot the streets of Ashland, and there are signs that family and friends are doing all they can to bring the 33 year old mother home. That includes offering a reward that has grown substantially in just two days. Somebody knows something out there. He has to be talking to somebody. Nate is not. By himself, somewhere, all alone. If he has something on his mind, he's got to be telling somebody. Jack and Heimer, her ex boyfriend, Nate Summerfield, the couple's three year old son, and her 13 year old daughter took a North Carolina vacation. Summerfield and the kids returned home on Sunday without Jack and Heimer. Summerfield's brother called police to say his brother told him he strangled her. He was last seen taking money out of an ATM on Sunday. Jack and Heimer hasn't been heard from in more than a week. Police in two states are now investigating, and tonight we have copies of search warrants from North Carolina that show police are examining cell phone and text messages. While police investigate, family and friends are keeping Jackenheimer in their hearts and on their chest with these t shirts. For myself, I want to be busy doing something every day. I want a project to help the family and help bring Lynn home. Some money from the sale of these t shirts will be used for family and friends to travel to North Carolina to search for Jackenheimer. We have just learned that tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock, North Carolina police will once again use dogs and helicopters to search Hatteras Island for Lynn Jackenheimer. And now we know that her family will be there for that search as well. In Ashland County, Tracy Carlos, News Channel 5.